Hey everybody, so today is Saturday and I am a day late doing my weekly favorites. So um, I definitely wanted to do them for this week because there have been some products that I have absolutely been loving. So I'm going to jump right into it um, and starting with just kind of the random stuff first and then working my way into the favorites for the makeup. So the first thing that I have absolutely been loving, and I am almost done with it as you can see, is the Coconut Shower Cream from The Body Shop. I've had this in my shower now for I think a couple of months, and what I really like about this is that it is so creamy and so moisturizing that when I'm having issues with my eczema, this is the one soap product um, that doesn't tend to irritate my skin more. So, um, it does, it's actually soap free. <laughs> I guess I'm just, I'm thinking of the word cleanser maybe. Um, it's the one cleanser that doesn't irritate my skin. So, um, this does not have soap in it. It's very moisturizing. It smells delicious. It totally does smell like coconuts. Not like a, um, like suntan lotion, but like a real coconut type of scent. Um, and I love to use this to shave my legs, uh, again, because it's very moisturizing. I almost don't feel like I necessarily need to use moisturizer after the shower. I usually always do, especially because I have some eczema issues right now, but um, this has definitely been helping with that, and um, it will definitely be a repurchase for me once I run out of this. And I believe these are only $15 at um, the body shop, and they're always having specials where you get like buy two, get one free, or something like that. So that's a good time to stock up on these. I also like that it has a pump. Um, second, going again with the eczema issues, um, I have found that the Cetaphil um, Moisturizing Cream has been working great for my eczema. Um, I was using this Aveeno cream that was specifically for eczema, but I ran out of that a few days ago, and um, I had kind of been using that along with this, and um, it's just been working really great to keep the dryness at bay and to make my skin look less irritated. Um, I get eczema just from stress, so until the summer is over, I think unfortunately I'm going to have to deal with it. So um, this doesn't have any fragrance, but it does smell like, um, it's hard to explain, but it just smells like an unscented lotion. So it's a little bit almost chemically smelling, but not in like a bad way. And I'm not even sure that that sentence made sense, but it's just not, um, uh, it's just not very natural smelling, I guess I'll put it that way. So um, anyway, I do take just a nice scoop of this. I am about halfway through this tub at this point, so I'm using it quite a bit. And um, as soon as I get out of the shower, um, I smooth it onto especially my arms, which is where I'm having most of my eczema issues right now, and let that really sink in. And um, it seems to be doing a really good job. So as far as this being like a particularly natural product, mm, no, it's got a bunch of like um, unnatural things in here. What I'm also actually going to start doing is using coconut oil. Um, I bought a big tub of coconut oil at um, Costco. So what I want to do is, and here comes Sophie, what I want to do is actually... Um, whip the coconut butter and um, maybe put some vitamin E oil in there and just kind of create my own body butter but I just need to get around to doing it so in the meantime this is working just fine. Candle that I have absolutely been loving and this is limited edition from Bath and Body Works. I was going to say the body shop uh, but from Bath and Body Works and um, it is the 2013 Summer Boardwalk scent and um, I have one downstairs that uh, I'm burning right now. Um, it smells so good. It When people have walked into my house over the last couple of days, they have literally been like, oh my god, it smells like caramel corn in here, or oh my god, it smells like the fair in your house, because <laughs> that's exactly what this smells like. Um, so on the back, it says that it's like memories of the best summer spent at the beach, caramelized, um, 
sorry, caramel glazed popcorn, warm taffy apples, and salted sweet cream. So I smell all three of those things, but most people tend to really smell the um, caramel glazed popcorn, um, and that's mostly because I think that that's probably the top note in this. Like it definitely hits you in the face first. But once it burns for a little while, the taffy apple and the sweet cream uh, definitely come through as well. So again, this is limited edition. I picked up, I think I have three backups of this because I think it's also actually going to be a great fall time scent. So um, I'm probably going to save at least one or two of them for fall. But I am just loving this this week uh, in my house. And I can literally smell it upstairs in my bedroom at night when I'm sleeping. I don't even have the candle burning. Like it's just wafting from like the open candle sitting in my kitchen. So it's very strong. Um, those people that don't like really strong scents, I would stay away from this one. This is not going to be like a faint like hint of caramel corn. It's like smack you in your face kind of caramel corn. So, but I love it. So just be forewarned. It's very strong when you're burning it. So let's get into the makeup. Um, by the way, do you like my overly smoky, dramatic eye look for a Saturday when I'm hanging out at home with my kid? <laughs> so I was playing around this morning um, and wanted to try a really smoky look from this palette and just kind of went for it. Um, this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Cheek and Eye Palette. This is still available at Sephora. So this is what it looks like. I've been using this quite a bit this week. Um, and mostly the eyeshadows, not so much the blushes, although I do love the blushes that are in here. Um, today I am wearing this deep purple color in my, in my, uh, lid area. And then I am wearing this kind of taupey brown in my crease. So I just kind of blended it out in there and, um, I really like the way this turned out. Purple is a phenomenal choice for those of you with green eyes. It literally makes your green eyes pop. Like, it is fantastic. So if you've never tried purple shadows and you have green or hazel eyes, um, give them a try. Like, you'll be surprised at how much more your eyes stand out. It's just such a great compliment. So anyway, this palette in general I have been loving. Um, I like these newly reformulated Amazonian clay eyeshadows. They're just very pigmented. They're easy to work with. Um, they're not quite as pigmented as, um, say, Urban Decay or Too Faced or um, so some of like the other higher-end eyeshadows out there like Lorac. But you get a good amount of pigmentation and they're much easier to plan, blend and they're not chalky, which was an issue I had with them in the past. So this is a must have for me now and I'm glad that I um, picked this out for my beauty basket of the week because I hadn't reached for it in quite a while. So um, sticking with the eyes, I have to mention this again. I've mentioned it in so many videos. It's my new Holy Grail mascara combination. It's the All May One Coat Get Up and Grow and the All May Intense Eye, uh, Eye Color Volumizing Mascara and Plum. I'm wearing both of these today. I love what this does for my lashes. They are completely clump free. They are separated. They are voluminous. They are long. I'm in love. Like, perfect, perfect combination. I know not everybody wants to do like a two-step with their mascara, but if you have time for it, you should absolutely try this because it it's just fantastic. I love it. I love it. I can't stop talking about it. On my face, and I I did a video of me uh, applying this. It's I think I called it my updated foundation routine or something like that. So you can see me using this particular product in that video. I will link it down below. Um, it's the Sarah McNamara Miracle Skin Transformer SPF 20. You guys, it's like... It's amazing in a bottle. It makes my skin look so flawless, so smooth. I've never gotten so many compliments before in my on my skin. Like, when people see me, they're just like, your skin is, like, glowy. Like, are you pregnant? And absolutely not. No chance of that ever happening again. But this is what's doing it. Like, I just use a pearl-sized amount of this, smooth it over my face, 
put my mineral foundation over top and it just helps everything else glide on so much more smoothly. My mineral foundation goes on better, um, my contour, my blush, everything just goes on so much more smoothly and um, I've actually been enjoying this just by itself so I haven't even been using my Milk of Magnesia because this I do get oily throughout the day so this isn't really mattifying for me in any sense of the word but it doesn't make my oil look as greasy when it comes through if that makes any kind of sense so all I need to do is just go to the bathroom get like one sheet of toilet paper and blot my skin just to get the extra oil off and it again looks like I just freshly applied it so I do that probably two or three times a day it's a little bit of a hassle but if I'm in the bathroom anyway and I'm washing my hands and just finishing up like just take a little sheet of toilet paper press it on my face and I'm good to go again so I love it I won't be without it I actually just bought um, another one because I'm using it so much and full price I think this is $48 at Sephora but right now Costco with their ridiculous packaging has um, this in the light and the medium shade for $29.99 so great for those of you that are in the light to medium range not so good for those of you that are in the deep range this does go um, all the way up to deep in the shade range so you should be able to find something that works for you no matter what your skin tone is but as far as getting it at a discounted price at Costco the light and the medium are the only shades available there so um, anyway it is fantastic it's beautiful it's buildable if you want more coverage you can do that fills in my pores makes my skin look smooth I'm in love like there's nothing else to say it's fantastic for um, applying my mineral foundation over top of the Miracle Skin Transformer I've been loving this Eco Tools Kabuki brush and um, it is so thick and so dense it's a total pain in the ass to clean and it takes like two days to dry but this has been so fantastic for putting my mineral foundation on as you can see it's got a large surface area um, so it's easy to get a lot of your face at once it makes the job a little bit quicker than if you were using like a smaller type of um, kabuki brush um, and this is just the Real Techniques buffing brush I've also used this and it works good but it just takes a lot longer so um, this has absolutely been a favorite I love it um, it's just easy to use and it makes everything look so smooth and so blended and it's easy to get into the hairline it's it's just beautiful so I highly recommend this brush I think it's under ten dollars at the drugstore so you can find it at like Walgreens or Fred Meyer or any of those other places so highly recommend that for my cheeks I have really been loving corals corals I'm really drawn to them in the spring and summer months um, just because my skin tends to warm up a little bit with just a little bit of a hint of a tan and um, it just feels so fresh and just perfect for the season so a couple that I've been loving are the Milani baked blush in luminoso and this is available at the drugstore and this unfortunately is limited edition but I have to mention it because it's so beautiful it's the Sephora and Pantone universe blush duo in coral and desert flower I have been loving the coral which is like a satin finish so pretty I just love the way that this looks on my skin right now so um, I'm definitely gonna keep going with the corals throughout the summer um, I do every once in a while go for like a pink shade and when I do the pink grapefruit has been perfect because it also has little hints of coral in it so it just it's like the perfect combination so um, anyway coral blushes are a must-have for me this week and I think that they will be until probably the end of September so love these two and then lastly I again wanted to mention the Alme liquid lip balms um, I picked up rosy lipped um, earlier this week at Target it's so pretty I'm wearing it on my lips right now um, I am wearing it over um, Mac blankety these two are like they're made for each other 
So they're basically the same color. Um, this by itself isn't super opaque. It just looks like a beautiful nude sheen on your lips. Um, these are long wearing. Um, they are really moisturizing and I just love the sheer kind of color that you get from these. They're so easy to wear during the summer. They don't make you look overly made up when you're just wearing them by themselves. Another favorite that I've talked about a lot is the Cantaloupe Cream. Um, I want to pick up all of these. They have a gorgeous red color that I would love to try just because I... Um, I don't really feel comfortable in a red lip during summer, but I think if it was a little bit more sheer, I might be more apt to try it out on the days that I have a nice neutral eye and then just doing a pop of red on my lips. So you really do have to try these. If you Just pick one, whatever color you're most drawn to. They're not going to be super opaque in terms of coverage uh, with the color, but they're so moisturizing. They're just, they're amazing. So highly, highly recommend these. I think that's pretty much everything that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, hopefully everybody's having a fantastic weekend. If you have any questions about any of the products that I mentioned, definitely leave me a comment below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.